All right, lower anchor weight limit crash course. When we say lower anchors, we're talking about those little metal bars in your vehicle seat crease that you use to install a car seat. Those little metal bars have a weight limit of 65 pounds. That includes the weight of the car seat plus the weight of the child. The weight of the seat plus the weight of the child cannot exceed 65 pounds total. For infant carrier style car seats, this typically isn't a concern because we don't put big heavy kids in those. They don't reach a point where they're going to exceed that limit. But for convertible combination harness to booster and all-in-one car seats, you do need to know what your lower anchor or latch weight limits are. You can find that information in two places. One is, of course, your car seat's manual, and the other, if your car seat was made in 2014 or newer, is going to be on the labeling on the side of the car seat. For example, this says latch strap with top tether, so that's the latch strap plus that top tether strap. Do not install by this method for a child weighing more than 45 pounds. Now this car seat has a 65 pound weight limit for the child riding in it with the harness. At 45 pounds, that does not mean that I have to switch the child to booster mode. What it does mean is that instead of using the latch strap back here, I need to switch to installing the car seat with the vehicle seat belt since that does not have that weight limit. And a seat belt installation is safe at any weight, so you could always just start by installing it with the seat belt and not have to worry about it. For forward-facing car seats, do still use the top tether strap, latch and tether or seat belt and tether, but always use that tether for forward-facing harness car seats. Do you know your child's car seat lower anchor weight limit? Go find out.